Annie and I are going to Maritime Museum of San Diego. Uh, it's been around in San Diego since 1948, and um, there's supposed to be different types of sea vessels there, so we thought it'd be like a good day to check it out. It's Thanksgiving Day, and since we don't have family here, we thought, you know, we'd look up what was open for Thanksgiving Day, and the Maritime Museum was one of them. So if you're looking for things to do on Thanksgiving in San Diego, that's one thing you could do. I mean, this is something different. We never had really done anything like this before, so I'm kind of excited about it. What? I already have a tip. A tip? Don't wear a hat. <laughs> And I was thinking about it too. I was like, I don't know if I should wear a hat. Yeah. Or whatever. And I wore it now. I'm regretting it. So. One tip. like a pirate here too. Hi. Arr. Hi. <laughs> you look like you're going around our museum. Yes, Started right or are. just reading? No, we just we just got here. Yeah. All right. Have you got your ticketing yet? We did. Yes. Have you gone in that way, or are you going to go that way first? Which way? Is where it you better to go, go that way? way? Well, it's better to go any way, but it's what you want. Oh. <laughs> I can recommend that when you go in here, uh -huh. got all of this to see, then go look at your dolphin, come out, back in, go out to Medea, look around the San Salvador. Okay. Californians back on the dock there. America is in Catalina today, so you can't see it. Okay. It's, it doesn't belong to us anyway. Oh. Then you go inside mm -hmm. the B-39, then you go in the Surprise, then you go on the Star of India. All right. We got that was good info. We're going the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Pirate. Ready to go check out some ships? That's crazy. Look at the amount of like bullets. Look how huge that is. So we're gonna go down to the engines and boilers. Interesting. Oh, these are kind of steep stairs. <laughs> well, that's, that's the boiler room over there. Watch out for your head. So yeah, this is a boiler room. <laughs> um, don't know what all this stuff means. There's a lot of water pumps, airlock valves, pool hatch. This place just keeps on going on. I think it's over. I was like, no, keep on going this way. Another place where it's a low overhead. Oh my god, this guy scared me. <gasps> wow. I thought this was a real person. <laughs> I just feel like his hair is in the way, you know? Like I need to like move it out of the way. It looks like he's pondering about something. He did there pondering or he's like hung over? Yeah, or he's just, I mean, his eyes are just like very focused though. <laughs> or not focused. Oh look, they made a meal right here. Gonna have a, I'm gonna have some little snacks. Um, I made some rocks. I, don't I think know. that's bread. This is bread. <laughs> so this part is just telling us that these seamen drank a ton. Um, and it did say contrary to popular belief, um, they did drink more beer than rum. And you would think rum, because it's kind of like you may associate the sea with rum. But no, it was beer, so. But all, <laughs> you can tell with this table, like yeah, I guess those are beer mugs. And then there's like wine bottles, but I don't really see any. Is that supposed to be rum bottles? I feel like they're wine. They're, they're wine, like wine bottles. Wine, but then up there you see a bottle. There's rum up there. So I guess those are rum bottles. Huh. Oh, okay. So maybe they were rum bottles. <laughs> I like how they spelled rum here, though. It's R H U M. Hmm. I wonder if that's like. Is that an like old another, school way or, or like, like a European way? Yeah. <laughs> but um, they apparently did a lot of drinking. That's why they dedicated this whole section mm. to their to drinking. To drinking. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh look, it's all the ways you tie the knots. Ooh, that's interesting. Look at that one. That looks so complicated. These are tiny knots. Wow. Okay. So many different ways. I don't even know how to do a lot of these. I don't even know how to do one of these. <laughs> now we're in the party room. So we've got a little tiki bar here. Right, I'm just having such a good time at this maritime museum. <laughs> so I guess this guy was like smuggling smuggling the uh, the rum to himself. He's got coconut rum, that's a good choice. I do like coconut rum. He's probably why he's like having his head down because he feels bad about Oh, he looks very sad. Yeah. He looks very, very sad. Or he's hungover. Yeah, or he's just like super drunk. Or he's depressed. <laughs> yeah, he's in a boat by himself. <laughs> boat. And then on the other side over here is a speakeasy. It's just a brick door. Oh, I, <laughs> I was like, can I really get in? But yeah, so behind this is a picture of all the guys happy having a drink. <laughs> So we just learned something new. Um, there are two types of places, a speakeasy and a blind pig. And the difference is that the blind pig was basically, you just you know buy alcohol there. Um, but the speakeasies, you buy alcohol, you can drink there, there's music, and it said there were women. So a lot, a lot more going on at the speakeasy. And they say it's more high class. All right, I'm ready to move on to the next section. We had a good time at the uh, the alcohol exhibit. So it's like very narrow here. Uh, this is a sonar control room. Lots of old school equipment in there. So apparently this thing still works, but I don't know where to look through. Um, oh, there it is, right here. There's a big lens. Oh my gosh, ah, I see somebody out there. I totally see something. There's an old couple. There's an old couple looking at the boat. This is pretty cool. Let me see that. Can you, can you believe like this was actually operating before? Like a real submarine? I don't think I can work down here like they do. No way. All aboard. <laughs> oh wow, that's the toilet in there. Ew. That doesn't look nice. <laughs> no, it doesn't. This is a the mess hall, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's a galley mess. So it's like a kitchen, and then this is where they ate. I guess that's it. That's it. That's it of uh, that's the end of this tour. There's another submarine. Want it on this fancy bed? Okay. Right for my dinner. So I guess this boat was uh, like for rich people. San Salvador, California, small craft. That's a, that's a pirate ship there. What do they keep in here? They got little rats? A rabbit? Everybody really likes this ship. Do it, Crystal. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Might have to steal it. <laughs> it is extremely cramped inside the submarine, so in order to pass the test, you have to actually go through this to make sure you are good to go. <laughs> I'm doing this like a weird way. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> Ta-da! I did it! So we're going in this submarine. 
the guy um, that we met in the other submarine said this one is even more narrow and the area is like some areas have to crawl through so we'll see if that's true here I go Here's the first hole. So we have to go through this time. I mean, it's possible, it's just a little awkward to do it. You're like, what? <laughs> I did it! Yeah! You did it! Woo! Wow. I didn't even sleep on that. So Did they crazy. have tiny people before? I feel like it has to be like five to the bit Medical exam room. Medical How do they exam people? <laughs> Like, I have to like touch something to like get through. You go, you go through much better than I do. Yeah. <laughs> this is where they had their entertainment. It says entertainment on board a foxtrot. They just played um, Cards board here. games or something. I guess this thing flips out. No, maybe not anymore, but it used. To. Oh, but there we go. Does. So it goes like this. Mm. You have to always watch out for your head. just got done with the Maritime Museum. It was actually a really good time. Yes, we've been here for two and a half hours yeah. and we would stay longer if we weren't hungry because it's already like past noon. Yeah, we kind of skimmed through the last one, the India ship one, just because we were, you know, we're getting hangry. <laughs> <laughs> we eat food in our tummy. Yeah, I actually am a little bit claustrophobic and I was afraid of the submarine, but once you get in there, it's so interesting. It's really cool. Um, that you kind of forget about those fears yeah. of being claustrophobic. Uh, I really enjoyed the submarines the most. Yeah, what about you? submarines, yeah. definitely, because there was like some working parts still, and you kind of like get to experience how small these like uh, quarters were, like oh their gosh. beds, Sleeping their quarters. playroom. I mean, I'm like, wow, this is what they had to do stuff. I mean, it's such tight quarters that I can't even imagine being stuck down there for like months. I think I would go crazy. Yeah. I think I'd go insane. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I get so much cost. I could do it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it was a really good time. We learned a lot. We got to see, like, how many was that? Like, uh, 10 ships or so? Maybe? Like one, two. We went on more. about seven ships. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more of our videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We post videos <laughs> weekly, and it's mostly about all our travel adventures. Yep. So, thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>